All right, so yesterday we talked about what could make your coin valuable. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. We literally dive into everything that could possibly make your coin worth money. Now in today's video, we're actually going to be looking at five steps to coin collecting, which will include searching for coins, how to sell coins, and all about coin grading and what that process is like. So the first step is coin roll hunting. Basically what I do on the live streams every single Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We go to the bank. We get boxes of coins here and if your bank does not have boxes of coins You can always get coin rolls, you know $20 worth of coins at a time or whatever you want to search through whatever you can afford and then if you want to get half dollars half dollars are tricky because a lot of banks don't have them all the time so you got to go from bank to bank or you can do what I do I just go to my bank and I tell them hey I would like you know uh, this much and half dollars if you can order me two boxes of half dollars and they say okay and they order those and then they call me once the coins have arrived at the bank to go pick those coins up so then I can bring them back to my house and search through them on the live stream. Now, of course, when you're coin roll hunting, you're looking for silver coins, low mintage coins, coins that they didn't produce a lot of, and then you're looking for error coins, anything that could be of value. That's what you're searching for when you're coin roll hunting. All right, so step number two of the fifth step. If you're not sure if you have an error coin, all you have to do before you sell it, before you go through all this process of coin grading and spending your money, you can join my channel, press the blue join button on my channel. It's $4.99 a month. I do receive $3.50 of it. YouTube takes the rest. And you can email me up to 10 coin pictures a month. And I will give you my feedback on those coins, whether or not I think they are error coins or whether I think you should get those coins graded. So feel free to do that. If that's not for you, I totally understand. It's just an option uh, for you guys, you know, kind of save money if you don't want to spend your money on coin grading because it does kind of get pricey. And you can cancel the membership after one month if, you know, you only got 10 coins to look at or whatever. All right, so step number three, if you are sure you have an error coin or a rare coin, a low mintage coin, any valuable coin, if you are positive you have one of those, then before sending it to a grading company, you can go on eBay, click on the sold listings, you can type in that coin, say it's a 1950D Jefferson nickel, you can type it in eBay, you can click on sold listings, and then you go to the most recent ended auctions that way you can see like what these coins have actually been selling for like within the last month or two months or whatever and you can have an ideal of whether or not you should get the coin graded because you know if they're selling for hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars then it's probably worth it to get the coin graded uh, because once you know the grade of the coin then you will have a better ideal of the value of the coin again the higher the grade the more money it's probably gonna sell for all right step number Four, you can then send your coins to the coin grading company. And here are the three grading companies that I would personally suggest. I would not go through any other grading company except for these three, uh, PCGS, ANACS, Annex, or NGC. I actually did a coin grading video with a gentleman who grades coins at Annex and uh, he provided me with a lot of good information so I will link that video down in the comments below if you want to check that out. So every coin grading company is different. Annex, I know they don't require a membership so you can just send your coins and there's a flat rate so if you want to go to their website, I will leave all their websites in the comments below. That way you guys can go check out their website and see what their uh, membership programs are, their pricings like. So you guys can go check all that out and see how their websites work and they differ and see which one would be best for you. Uh, depending, you know, if you got a lot of coins, you know, a membership might be a better thing than, uh, you know, sending just you know, a few coins in at a time. So definitely go check out their websites. I will list them in the comments below and in the description below as well. Now, step number five, the final step, you want to sell your coin. You went through the process, you figured out what you had, you got it graded, now you have the grade, so you have an idea of what these coins sell for. These are the places where you can sell these coins. I mean, this is, you know, places that I suggest. So number one is eBay, of course. Uh, like I said, if you go to those sold listings, you can see what similar coins are selling for and you can base your price among that. And if you don't know how to sell on any of these platforms, all you have to do is go to YouTube, type in how to sell on eBay, watch probably a couple minute video, you know, start your eBay account. 
and then they will show you literally in a video on YouTube. You can type in anything on YouTube and figure out how to do it. So how to, how to sell on eBay, how to sell on Craigslist. It will literally show you, just type it in YouTube if you're having problems with you know, setting up your account and things like that. Type it in YouTube and just search it and they will literally show you how to sell on eBay. And the second one is, uh, well the second and third one are similar apps, they're called LetGo and offer up you can download those on your phone in the app store and then uh, of course you got Facebook marketplace and Craigslist now Craigslist and Facebook marketplace are kind of similar in the fact that uh, you know it's probably not like a shipping service like people are gonna pick those up but Facebook marketplace is huge right now it's like the wild wild west they don't charge any fees to sell on their platform as of yet so I would suggest Facebook marketplace plus you're reaching all the people that are in your area but eBay is probably the number one even though they do charge fees or whatnot eBay is my number one option because you're reaching you know the whole United States and whatnot so I would definitely sell through eBay and again if you don't know how to do that just search it on YouTube to how to sell on eBay and you will find probably hundreds of videos explaining how to properly do that. Alright so those are the five steps. Go to the bank, get coins, search through them, look for errors, look for valuable coins. If you're not sure you have an error you can join my channel. You'll be able to send me up to 10 coin pictures a month. I'll give you my feedback. If then you know you have an error or a rare coin then you can send it to the grading company and then once it comes back you can look up all the sold listings on eBay, see what those prices are for your coin and you can and sell your coin on whatever platform you choose. All right, guys, I hope this really helped. Uh, if you have any questions, please, please put them down in the comments below. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.